everyone welcome to formula story today i'm going to discuss a method which enables us to find the square root of a perfect square in like three seconds yes three seconds this is a really really efficient method and trust me people if you bear with me throughout this video you'll be able to find the square root of any perfect square in like mere seconds so let's begin this method of finding square root works perfectly for perfect squares so if I ask you the square root of 7396 uh, and I give you like 10 seconds just tell me the answer okay if you could find the answer then it's great but if you couldn't then I'll tell you a method which will make finding the square root of this number really really easy so let's begin uh, oh, all you got to do is remember the squares from 1 to 9 okay and just focus on the units digit of each square so here I'm gonna see that the units digit of 7396 is 6 okay so where does 6 come in the square it comes in case of 4 and it comes in case of 6 so the square root will have the units digit as 4 or 6 okay then what we do is we strike off the last two numbers 9 and 6 and we just focus on 73 okay and we find a number which is less than 73 and is a perfect square which is if you think it's 64 right so the square root of 64 is 8 now what do we do we multiply 8 by the next number which is 9 and we get 72 now, now since the number that we obtained is lesser than 73 or we can say that 73 is greater than 72 hence we choose the greater out of the two numbers which is 6 if in case the two digits that we had here was lesser than the digit obtained here then we choose lesser of the two numbers so our answer here would be 86 it will be clearer if we take another example suppose uh, we need to find the square root of 2209 then we focus on the units digit first we see that here 9 comes in the square of 7 and in the square of 3 so the units digit of our square root will be 3 or 7 okay so now we strike off the last two numbers which is 0 and 9 and we just focus on 22 now find a number which is a perfect square and is less than 22 it is 16 right and the square root of 16 is 4 now our answer can be 43 or 47 so what we do we multiply 4 with the next number which is 5 and we get 20 now since 22 here is greater than 20 we choose the greater of the two number which is 7 so our answer would be 47 in this case let's do a few more examples suppose I have to find the square root of 1521 then I see that the units digit here is 1 okay so where do you here where do I see 1 as the units digit it's in case of 1 and it's in case of 9 okay 9 has units digit as 1 and 1 has units digit as 1 so my units digit for this square root will be 1 or 9 okay then I strike off the two numbers the last two numbers and I just focus on this 15 now I find a number which is less than 15 and a perfect square okay which is if you think it's 9 and the square root of 9 is 3 so my answer will be 31 or 39 now how, I, how do I decide that I multiply 3 with the next number which is 4 and I get 12 so now since 15 here is greater than 12 we choose greater of these two numbers hence we choose 9 and the answer will be 39 let me take one last example uh, here the units digit is 5 in case of 2025 and we can see here that in case of 5 the square is 25 and it has a units digit of 5 so our answer for this square root will have its unit digit 5 now we strike off the last two numbers and we just focus on this 20 all right now we find a number which is less than 20 and a perfect square which is 16 and the square root of 16 is 4 
So 45. Bingo. That's our answer. I highly recommend to solve a few more examples using this method so that the concept gets a bit more clearer. Uh, just to note that this method works perfectly fine for numbers whose square root is less than 100. So that's it people. I will come up with more videos like these and till then keep practicing and do like my video and subscribe to my channel and also give your valuable feedback so that I can improve on my upcoming videos. Thank you.